Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda, and today I have the new iPhone 10s Max. We are going to get this all out here, and they actually fooled me because I thought I was getting the Apple Watch open, but this is the smaller of the two boxes, and it happens to be the phone, not the watch. So I'm gonna take all of this and set it aside, and really quickly, I've never really done this in the middle of an unboxing, but before I even do anything, I want to install a screen protector on this because I always end up scratching my phone up and getting fingerprints all over it. So before I even take this cover off, I'm going to go ahead and get this all out and put this on my phone so it's fresh from day one. So I just picked this up for $13, bucks, 12 dollars It's got two screen protectors in this tool. Now I'm just making sure it all aligns and fits and everything before I even take the screen protector off. And so you're just going to stick that on there and line your case up and drop it in. So here's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and as careful as I can, <laughs> remove this so I try not to touch the front at all. I don't want any smudges or fingerprints under this from day one. I want my screen protector on there. So nice. So if we look up here at the top, you can see it has an arrow and it tells you this is the top. So I'm gonna line that on there and be careful to keep my fingers on the plastic. And I'm gonna remove my screen protector here and it says peel off this before so we're going to start with this side and just peel this up so got that now don't touch this to anything i'm going to line it up here i'm shaky um if you can see up here at the top i didn't realize this was going on as i was doing it but i was like oh it's not like lining up to the top well that's because this top corner wasn't quite snapped down so make sure you snap that down all the way and i'll link these screen protectors down below but you just line it up there and then drop it i'm going to show it to you but it's it just immediately starts going here but we can try to look at it a little closer and see where if there's any air bubbles right here on the side there is some and right up at the top there is some so i'm going to fiddle through here and do do do, -do find the cleaning cloth they have all the stuff included if you're putting this on a phone that you've already had, but I'm not reviewing this for them. They didn't send it to me. I bought this my own money. I'm just going ahead and showing you guys this while I'm doing it. This top corner up here is not quite perfect, but everywhere else it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off and I will rub it down a little bit more just to get those edges where I can press this up against there. But if you look, this installed it perfectly straight. I am terrible at getting these on crooked. So I definitely wanted one this year with the little tool to help you align it. But so yeah, that's installed now. And here is the phone. Um, it's already fingerprinted all the heck. And I just took this out of the package. I'm gonna go ahead and get this first boot going. Um, my hands are sweaty because I'm like all excited. So that's probably aiding to the uh, fingerprints. But if we look at the bottom, this is one thing that drives me crazy. This is not very Apple-like. Why are these not the same on each side? I don't know. I think that's very odd that they chose to do it that way. But I'm going to pause this here for just a second. This phone, I have never had a silver and white iPhone 10. I had the black version, space gray version. And this thing is like chrome. This is like a 1990s lowrider covered in chrome chrome. It's like shiny and bright. I didn't expect that. So <laughs> kind of weird. But if you look in here, you've got your regular USB, um, no USB-C cable to charge it or a port or plug to charge it. And then you have your headphones, which I'm sure you've seen this on other channels. They do not include the three and a half millimeter adapter. But for me, I have AirPods and I use other Bluetooth headphones, so I've never once actually plugged in a wire pair of headphones to my iPhone 10, so I've never needed the adapter. So quickly here, before I end this video, I'm just going to show you the new 10s Max. My goodness, that's a mouthful along with my iPhone 10. So definitely is a lot longer and even a bit wider, but it's definitely more length added than there is width, but it is definitely wider as well. Well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this. I have the new uh, 44 millimeter LTE Apple Watch, so you guys can look for a video on that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you guys like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.